Student, this is Suyam Imran. Welcome to my video tutorial. Today, we will learn how to construct a rhombus. So, constructing a rhombus is very simple and very easy. So, uh, it's a part of the geometry, you know that. So, first of all, we have to select a measurement if it is not given to you. So, what can we do first? We have to take uh, a line which may be a 4 cm, 5 cm, 6 cm, anything else. So, uh, I decided that I will take 6 cm. Okay. So, first of all, I have to draw a 6 cm line. Okay. So, I am constructing it. So, from here to here, it's 6 cm. I take 6 cm. Okay. Okay. Then, what I should do? I should take a pencil compass. Then, I have to take a measurement from here to here. Okay. Then, I draw an arc here. So, that my measurement will be accurate. Accurately, it will be 6 cm too. Okay. I will find a length which is adjust exactly six centimeter okay and i find it okay so here is the point which is six centimeter from this point to this point okay then i have to draw another two arc from this point and from this point okay in the same measurement okay um, careful that your measurement should always six centimeter all the time okay so now i will draw an arc from here And another arc from this point so that I will find a point my actual vision is to find out a point and that point I will add this point with this point it will be accurately six centimeter and it is and here it is yes I'm successful so it is six centimeter and if I add this point to it will be Six centimeter two, and it will be six centimeter two. So I construct four equal sides. Okay, so here is my um, rhombus. I, I have already told you that it is very simple and very easy. Okay, now I will show you the properties of rhombus. First of all, maybe you all know what is diagonals. If I draw a line from this point to this point inside the rhombus, it is called a diagonal. So we can draw two diagonals here, okay? So another is from here to here, okay? It is a diagonal, and here it is my another diagonal. And you all see two diagonals are not same right one is shorter and another one is longer so here is my two diagonals i can give a name of this rhombus it is uh, a this one is b this may be c and this is d okay and the two diagonals intersect each other in the point O. Okay, so the O point means this point is called O. Okay, okay. So now I'm writing the properties of the rhombus. So what is the properties of rhombus? Properties. properties the first one the first one is you all see that it looks like a parallelogram okay it looks like a parallelogram and it has four sides with all sides are equal so now we can write it has that means rhombus has 
it has four equal sides okay it has four equal sides okay number two number two it has two unequal diagonals unequal diagonals I already showed which are diagonals A to C and B to D these lines are called diagonals inside the rhombus okay okay the number three is the opposite sides of the rhombus if you have idea about the parallelogram so you all know what is parallel lines when two lines uh, when two lines maintain equal distance from each point to another those lines are called parallel lines so here ad and bc i'm again say ad and bc this line and ab and cd ad and bc and again cd and ab the opposite sides are parallel so i can write the opposite opposite sides of a rhombus are parallel okay the number four is okay so i draw an uh, at a dry shape so there must be some angles okay so here is four angles one two three four so angle a and angle c angle b and angle d they're opposite angles and in a rhombus opposite angles are equal that means angle a will be same to angle C and angle B will be definitely same to angle D so I can write the opposite angles okay the opposite the opposite sorry the opposite angles are equal okay that means if it is 60 degree if the angle a is 60 degree definitely angle c will be angle c will be 60 degree too and if uh, if it is 120 degree angle b is 120 degree so definitely angle d will be 120 degree too okay the number five is number five is I already told you it has two diagonals but but two diagonals are not same okay I have told you okay so when I draw two diagonals they intersect each other right so I can write I can write the diagonals the diagonals of the rhombus bisect bisect each other bisect each other okay the diagonals bisect each other bisect each other means it means they cut each other in half that means when they cut each other a to o this and o to c this will be same at the same time b to o this measurement and o to d will be same too if a to o is three centimeter three centimeter then o to c will be three centimeter too and b to o if it is 2.5 centimeter then o to d will be 2.5 centimeter too okay okay fine and uh, the final one is 
final one is there is there are many properties the diagonals the diagonals intersect each other intersect each other perpendicularly okay perpendicularly that means perpendicularly means there will form 90 degree angle okay 90 degree angle create hobby okay so a 90 degree angle that what I form what uh, when uh, when the diagonals intersect each other at the meeting point is O there form 90 degree angle okay they intersect each other perpendicularly that means here is form a 90 degree angle here is another 90 degree here is another 90 degree, and here is another 90 degree okay it is 90 degree this is 90 degree this one is 90 degree and this one is 90 degree too so you are all clear now about the properties of the rhombus there are many properties i have already written six of them so these are all important for you i think uh, it is uh, it make clear all of you and you all know how to construct a rhombus and what is the property of some rhombus okay so up to now it is clear and see you all in the next tutorial. Till then, goodbye.